Greetings, Carl Richards from Behavior Gap here. The reason I wrote the book and the reason for these sketches and really the reason for everything I'm trying to do around here is to provide people with tools to have more meaningful conversations about money. More meaningful conversations about money. And one of my favorite conversations or favorite tools that's in the book is called the overnight test. Now the idea behind the overnight test is we all sort of go along in life and we read about something in a magazine, an investment about it in a magazine and we buy some. We hear about something on CNBC and we buy it. We, our neighbor tells us about it and we buy it. And then we wake up one day and we've got this whole, we almost have become collectors instead of investors. We've got this whole smorgasbord of investments that don't really have a rhyme or reason. They don't work together and they may not, and this is the most important part, they may not reflect what we say is important about money to us. They may not be the best vehicles to populate the plan we've put in place. In fact, we may not even have a plan. But I think one of the discussions that's really helpful is to take the overnight test. So assume for a minute that we live in a tax-free and commission-free world. Just hypothetically assume that. Don't get too concerned about that. Just, just assume tax-free and commission-free world. And then assume further that somebody came in overnight while you were asleep and sold, liquidated all the investments in your account. And you woke up in the morning and you had cash. And you could reinvest that money tax commission free. The question is, the overnight test is, would you buy back the same investments? Right? And then the question further is, if not, well then why do you hold them now? So if your portfolio doesn't match, if there's no rhyme or reason to what you hold, and it's really just a collection of investments, and it doesn't reflect what you're trying to do with your money, then maybe it's time, take the overnight test, and then maybe it's time to start thinking about putting a plan in place to get from this sort of collection smorgasbord of investments you have as a collector over here to a well-designed portfolio that matches your values and your goals, what, you, what you're trying to do with your money.